G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Buy Artists for Artists. My name is Jazza and this is part three announcement for the uh, first ever group collaboration project, which is Failed Superheroes. Part two was character design and the winner of that was Daniel Masado, Mikado, M I don't know how to pronounce it. And his character looked a little bit like this. This is John and he is the worker at a nuclear power plant celebrating Jen's birthday with the staff at an office party. Now, those of you who are entering part three, which as you might have noticed is involved environment design need to use this image which is part of a pack you can download where the link is in the description leading to that um, you need to use this image as a base for your environment design now for those of you who want to participate I've created a tutorial video talking about environment design which you can check out by clicking the annotation on the screen or the link in the description talking about some of the processes you might want to follow when creating your environment so uh, part three the due date is on the 16th of May at that point, I'll narrow down a handful of outstanding entries and offer them to you all to vote on so we can select the winner of the environment design. Now, the prerequisites for the environment design are detailed in the same information pack where you can find the script and the character design. So link in the description once again. Um, but as a bit of a rough guide, just so you know what you're getting into, basically you're going to be designing the concept of an environment. So it doesn't need to be polished, uh, doesn't need to be overly refined or colored in or detailed or anything like that you need to essentially lay out the office environment it needs to be an internal workspace a lunchroom partially decorated lamely for a birthday party a few things to show that it's a nuclear power plant perhaps a toxic waste container a leaky pipe an area where rats might be um, but also showing that it's an office worthy environment a little lame and kind of undertoned uh, and have some areas with some environmental features but also areas where it's a little spot and emptier for people to be put so that in the animation there are spaces that uh, characters can be put in and animated. Now you don't need to do the finished version or a refined version or anything like that because the winning entry once voted on will be handed over to an environment artist who will create a full version of the, the environment ready for animation. So you don't actually need to know how to set up an environment ready for animation or anything like that. This is basically for anyone with a bit of artistic flair who wants to learn and create uh, their own sort of environmental uh, sketch, a bit more of a concept design uh, sort of thing similar to to the character design but this time it's with an environment now you need to make sure it follows in line stylistically with the character which is in part of the information pack and it needs to also follow uh, with the narrative so it needs to fit in the setting which is part of the script so make sure to check out the information pack and the link in the description and also check out the tutorial which is linked to in the description where I talk about designing environments as with the other parts of this competition the winner will receive $100 USD via PayPal as well as 20% ad revenue on newgrounds.com and credit in all situations in which this uh, final animation will be uploaded as the environment designer. Thank you to everyone who has participated in the previous uh, section so far and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to be sending in for your environment designs and until next time ladies and gentlemen good luck and I'll see you later.